So we're finally live uh, in the daylight, got outside. It's actually good, my MacBook had been kind of uh, acting up lately, so got all of that working now, which is good. Uh, it's actually running pretty tip top. I have some random sort of like malware in there. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Probably gonna do like a full uh, wipe eventually just to start from scratch. I uh, need to back up some stuff before I do that. So not really ready to take that on. Anyways, uh, my main goal, uh, I've been kind of posting, uh, I think I'm currently at like 500 followers. Um, trying to get to 3,000 by my birthday, so March 13th. Got about a little over a month to do it, maybe kind of close to two months, I guess, but maybe like a month and a half. Um, but to do that, you know, you know, things you might see is like I'm commenting on my own videos, using my multiple profiles to try to share out there. Um, anything that, you know, you guys can do to help, really appreciate it. But I'm trying to engage uh, and just be better at engaging people in general. Um, so yeah, just kind of curious, like what are some things that you guys would like to hear about? Are there any topics covered uh, or that you want covered? Uh, I love feedback and constructive criticism. Obviously don't hurt my feelings if you uh, can, that'd be great. But um, you know, how can I improve the experience overall? Uh, if I'm annoying you, I'm sorry, maybe just like it and keep going. But you know, the people that have reached out, just really happy to connect with them and stay positive. Uh, for me, it's just about overcoming my fear of looking bad. Cause if I can do this and go live, then really like I can take on anything in life. Uh, may sound a little crazy but it's true because this is something that you know i resist often i'm afraid of how i look and you know looking good is is obviously important to people but it's not everything and i think you know if you're not able to do the things you want because you're afraid of looking bad then that's just kind of limiting you um so yeah so you know other things to engage there i'm kind of curious like is there something you're hearing uh that maybe i'm not aware of you know sometimes you have blind spots and it's like oh man he keeps bringing this up and you know not really sure uh why he keeps bringing it up. Hey, Renee, how's it going? Um, so yeah, just, you know, anything helpful. I really want this to be a community, um, interactive, not much, dude, just hanging out, you know, at the old, uh, Pegasus place, uh, Meridian and Myrtle beach. Hopefully you're killing up in New York. Hopefully it's not too cold either. We got a nice warm front here. So it's about 70 degrees. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of wrap it up in terms of like getting to my agenda. I just want to say, love you all and appreciate the sport, uh, support all these private messages and direct message I've been getting have been great. Um, and I really want them to keep coming, but I really encourage just people comment, you know, it's, it's a, it's an interactive conversation. And sometimes what you put out there for me or others, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely cold. Yeah. The snow, but what you put there, you never know what it's going to help. Um, there might be someone that needs to hear what you have to say. You might have some great insights, both for me and others. Um, so really just encourage people to comment, join the live stream. If you can't join the live stream, check it out after the fact you know, give me your two cents. And I really appreciate it. I've had a lot of people kind of past coworkers um, and stuff like that reaching out and just really want it to continue happening. A lot of my family reaching out, which is awesome. Uh, and just looking to meet some new people. So new people, don't be afraid to comment and stuff like that. Uh, as usual, I do have a little bit of an agenda, just trying to keep it so that I'm not rambling on and, you know, have some stuff to say. Uh, so anyone who's like concerned about yesterday, it was just a stressful day. It's not a bad thing at all. It happens. I'm sure we're all stressed at times. Um, it would have been easy to either pretend that I wasn't stressed or that all's good, but that's just phony, right? And so I don't like being phony, really want to be transparent with everyone. Yeah, it was a little stressful, but there's ways to get through it. In fact, if you actually watch the full video, uh, I do try to turn into a positive light um, and just overall talk about, you know, my experience and kind of deep thinking into how um, I can use it to grow and not really just fester on it. So I'm definitely getting better at not letting external factors uh, and stressors uh, impact me as much. That's not, you know, I'm not perfect by any means at it. Um, but really I would see myself as I add pressure, uh, to it myself. And I was speaking with someone and you know, their, their opinion of anxiety is like, it's overthinking. I think that's so true is, you know, if you just go to the facts and what the next steps are and how to solve it, things are a lot less stressful. It's when you start to overthink and you know, how does this person feel? How does that person feel? Why did they say this? Why they said it's just not worth it. Um, so try not to overthink, uh, as I mentioned kind of on my last video, if you're actually being grateful, it's uh, it's almost impossible to be anxious. So I just always, when I'm feeling that way, I try to thank myself for what I can do, uh, not what I can't do. Uh, perfect example of that is my neighbor actually uh, suffered a stroke. He wasn't my neighbor when he suffered a stroke, but um, you know, he actually bought another place. So kind of a weird story, but he was staying with his parents, suffered a stroke. I've always kind of helped him out when I could. And he's just talking about, he's like, he has all this money he got from a settlement, but he's not able to even use it or enjoy it because his body's just not working. And so, you know, I'm not saying you can't enjoy life uh, without a, a fully functional body, 
Um, but when you do have one, it's just worth, you know, acknowledging it and being grateful for that. So even just getting out of bed every day is something to be grateful for. And I uh, want to call that out. Um, so you're going to see me posting a lot. I'm just trying to like get my followers up between TikTok, Instagram, um, been friending the heck out of people on Facebook. So if you see me and you're like, who's this guy? Hey, how's it going? Thanks for uh, accepting the invite. Hopefully, you know, we can connect kind of, uh, in the future and definitely would love to engage people and get them on this. But yeah, so I'm just kind of starting with Facebook, grabbing them in and then, uh, trying to send out, you know, Instagram, uh, invites, get followers there. I don't mind following back. So anyone follows me, definitely. I'm very, uh, engaged on other people's. I like a lot of things cause it's really not that hard to like things. Uh, if I find that I am engaged, really, I'll throw a comment out there. I like to send things to my story. So just really trying to help each other build, build each other up. Um, you know, without being negative, like I just watched some of these people that are making money off, uh, Instagram, social media. And I'm like, wow, I feel like I could do that too. And so definitely would love the opportunity, um, to do that. And so I really appreciate everyone kind of, uh, sharing this out, being supportive, really just engaging. Like, even if you don't want to share it to your story or to your friends, uh, just commenting, liking, being a part of it is awesome. Um, one thing I've noticed is like every time I post on Instagram, I'm, I'm getting my views, uh, close to how many followers I have. So I only have like 500 followers, uh, which is funny, but so, you know, I'm just hoping that if I could get like into the thousands that I would actually have a bigger reach and, you know, ultimately give maybe gain some momentum from that. And so anything you guys can do, help save it, like it. Um, you can actually just like press share and then copy it to your, um, your clipboard there. Anything helps. I send it into like a save the reel. Um, all that stuff is tracked and it's much appreciated. It's not too hard to do. Um, to be honest, if you're not just going to do it for me, or if you don't want to do it for me, do it for someone that you do support, uh, small businesses, local businesses, your friends, businesses, and stuff like that. Really just, uh, spread the love. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot to press that like button. They're not going to think they're you're flirting with them. I said that before, but you know, sometimes that's what stops me from doing it. Who cares? You know, even if they think you're flirting sometimes, uh, you know, it's like a confidence booster. So if you do like spreading love and positivity, um, that's a great way to do so. Um, I am excited. Um, this weekend, actually, my dad's friend, Paul Mead's coming into town. Paul, if you end up watching this video on Facebook, I know you tend to watch my stuff. Uh, can't wait for you to get down here. We're going to be golfing Friday, going to be showing him around Merle's Inlet Saturday. Uh, hopefully Friday night, we'll be winning uh, that drawing at the Island Bar. If anyone's around locally, it's $2,600. No one's won it yet. Uh, great opportunity to get some money. It's also some great food in there. So if you've never been uh, definitely worth checking out. Um, yeah, we're zipping through this. So, oh yeah, the last thing I'll say about Paul Mead is uh, basically I'm his wingman and designated driver. Uh, so some big shoes to fill, and I, you know, I'm feeling up for it for the the wingman for sure. Designated driver is easy; you just don't drink, so that's easy enough. But uh, wingman and is uh, gonna be fun there. So Merle's Inlet tends to have some. Uh, I mean, there's young people too, but there are some older ladies. So looks like I'm getting my uh, my cougar my cougar hat on for this, but, uh, definitely want to send some love Paul Mead's way. Can't wait to see you coming down here and hopefully you like it so much. You end up moving down here. That'd be great. Um, so yeah, something I've been working on and I've mentioned it before is just keeping a short to do list. So normally I would write out kind of my whole to do list in a day and there'd be like 20 items, maybe even more. And, uh, I wouldn't end up getting a whole lot done and it'd just be kind of depressing or it's just too much. So like, don't try to do 20 things at once. Even five's a lot. Um, but I try to keep it between three to five, um, kind of tasks. And then what happens is once you finish that task list, you just write up another one. And so like the goal is to complete, you know, two, three task lists throughout the day. Um, and you really just get that like awesome experience. What's up, Johnny Mac, BMX. Appreciate you guys joining. Just kind of going through my, uh, daily update and stuff like that. Finally in the daytime. Um, but yeah, so keep your short, keep shorter to do list. Uh, there's something called the 80, 20 rule. And so 20% of your effort actually accomplishes like 80% of the value. And so what I try to do, uh, you know, you can start with 20 items, but pick off those three or five, you know, that are going to add the most value. You know, the, the 20% is actually going to get you 80% of the results. And so that's been helpful for me. Uh, my to-do list is literally endless. Like I could probably write stuff all day and never actually do anything. So it's important just like keep it in small chunks nail those off. Um, you know, and I'm hoping that, that this inspires you somewhat, um, you know, to take on maybe a new way of doing your to-do list. Just kind of reading here. The last thing, and it's kind of uh, punctual cause BMX is here, you know, Mario, 
We're actually going to be going to the gym later, which is nice. Uh, you know, one thing that I haven't really been following up on, I've been going on bike rides, but haven't been getting in the gym and getting that solid workout in. So really excited to do that today. Uh, we actually meant to go to the gym yesterday. I did go, um, but it turns out uh, Mario changed up and went to Socasty. So previously we went to the one kind of closer to Carolina Forest, um, out towards coastal Carolina. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, I still actually like that one. It is a little busier, but you get some cute girls there. You know, I'm single, some nice cute college girls. Uh, probably better to get me focused that we're going to Socasty with some of the muscle heads, but who knows, might meet a local girl there. But just jokes aside, you know, going to the gym, as uh, Mario likes to say, is for us. And so, you know, the girls come after the fact uh, when we're in shape and we get the beach bod going. But I really do agree with that. You know, it's going to be good to get out there. He crushes weights, absolutely eats them says I'm strong while he lifts like twice as much as me. So it's good to have that push. I love a workout buddy. Um, you know, overall I'm hoping that, you know, me working out my lazy self, uh, someone who doesn't really love going to the gym really inspires you. So it doesn't have to be going to the gym. It can be going outside, uh, do some push ups. could be just going on a walk. They actually say walking, uh, burns more fat than running, believe it or not, which is great news for me. Uh, cause I got plenty of uh, fat to burn and I don't really like running anyways. So, uh, you know, take the time to walk you know, listen to an audio book, do something kind of multitasking. It doesn't just have to be walking. You can be productive at the same time. I know me, my ADHD doesn't really like the idea of like just walking and doing nothing. So, you know, make a phone call, call someone you haven't called in a while. Um, don't be afraid to get out there and branch out. I do think that was most of my items. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really it. So I appreciate everyone joining. Uh, definitely encourage people to keep reaching out. Uh, everyone that's reached out, you know, I love hearing from you. want to hear more from you guys. People that are maybe thinking about it but haven't done it yet, I challenge you. Just do it. You know, get over that hump. If you're afraid of what people are going to think, well, maybe that's stopping you from other things you want to do in life. And so, you know, send that send that out there. Uh, you know, just jump, jump over that obstacle and, and keep going forward. I hope you all have a great day. You'll probably see a couple more videos from me, like I said, trying to be active there. Also got a few things. Uh, so far, I think I've already banged out my first to-do list of the day. Hopefully you guys can do that too. Now I'm on to the next one and I'm hoping to get uh, three done today. So have a good one. Much love. Uh, have a good one. I say it again. Have a good one.